Michelle. Welcome to It Takes Three. Welcome to my little series on It Takes Three called What Michelle's Eating. You must be so excited because literally I'm just going to discuss what I eat. Many, many moons ago, I created a series on my personal YouTube channel called What Michelle's Eating. Pretty much it was just videos of me describing the different foods I ate. That series was inspired by uh, just being a vegan and at the time everyone was always intrigued about the different food combinations I put together. Actually, most of the time it really had nothing to do with me being a vegan. It was just the way I ate. I like to combine different flavors and uh, combine different recipes to make food taste better is really when it gets down to it. Um, no, to give you an example, you can check out my other uh, old Michelle's eating videos when I was just a little wee one. Not really, I think I was like 22, but I filmed it in front of my old white MacBook uh, built-in web camera and I did it in my mom's kitchen. So that was a blast, but here is gonna be a little different. I'm just gonna be inspired by that, but I hope to share different tips, different recipes with you, and hopefully you'll get inspired with your eating. Before we start, some things you should know about me. I am not a cook, I do not like to cook. I love to bake, but I am extremely lazy. In fact, most of the time, I just want food in my mouth as fast as possible. However, that's when I end up becoming the most inspired because I will be scrounging around trying to create something to eat and then I end up pulling all different things from my cabinets and my fridge and mixing the different flavors to see if it tastes good. And most of the time, it's really good. I have to say, this is probably one of my, um, is it a talent? It has to be one of my biggest talents. I don't really know what my talents are, but that's probably one of them. I'm pretty good at putting different flavors together. Anyway, but on this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite snack, which is popcorn, and how to jazz it up just a tiny bit. A couple of years ago, I worked at an olive oil store called The Crushed Olive, and there is really where I got even more inspired with my eating, my cooking, and my flavor combinations. We would like to present the different ways that you could use the olive oils in the store. So we used to put out popcorn with their butter-infused olive oil, and we would combine it with the black truffle sea salt. Now, I don't know if you have ever had truffle. When I was working at the Crush Olive, I never really experienced truffle until then, and it's delicious. But I have found that you either love truffle or you hate it. So from there, they only really presented the butter olive oil. It was supposed to replace, um, you know, melted butter with the truffle salt. But I decided that I was going to mix different olive oils with the black truffle salt. And the birth of my favorite combination for popcorn was born the chipotle olive oil with black truffle sea salt on top of my popcorn is so good. It really is. Like, sometimes you just have to, like, hoot and holler about how good things are. That became my favorite combination. But I also liked to combine different flavors. I love their wild dill olive oil, and I sprinkle pink Himalayan salt on top of that. And I just bought a new uh, smoked wood olive oil, and I sprinkle the uh, rosemary infused sea salt on top of that. So it's super easy. All you need is kernels, a popper. Popcorn? What would it be called? A popper. It's not the word. I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean. You could use your microwave, you can use your stovetop, uh, grab some good olive oil, and grab some flavored salt, and you have yourself a fancy snack. You have yourself a flavorable flavor. Oh my goodness. You have yourself a flavorful snack, and you also have yourself an impressive snack. Your friends and family will be really impressed. It doesn't cost a lot of money and you can make a large amount of it. Now I realize maybe you guys don't have uh, infused olive oil stores by you, but I know in the supermarkets you can buy different flavored olive oils, you can buy different uh, flavored sea salt. Also, you can use herbs and rubs. I used to do that all the time. We sold different rubs in the olive oil store, you know, that you're supposed to use for grilling and meat and stuff. I don't eat meat and stuff, so I just sprinkled it on my popcorn and mixed it with different olive oils. So that's what I would recommend for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, and I hope you're subscribing to our channel to begin with. If you have any tips, 
for me how do you jazz up your popcorn I would love to hear about it I have some fun food combination videos there's got to be a better word for that food combination videos just food I have better I have not better I have more fun food videos for you guys but if you would like me to try out a recipe or cook anything just leave some hints below i'll see you guys next time